Oh, excuse me, guys. All right. <clears throat> okay. Going to wait for a couple more people to join. Gonna wait for more, 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 more. All right, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, babe. I'll wait for some more people to join. Right, we got two people now. Oh, one other person. Okay. All right. I got three other people now. All right. Hey, mom. Cheers, everyone. Let's see if anyone else has joined. Yep. All right. Concurrent viewers. All right. Stream's looking good. Going to wait for some more people to hop in. Hello, news channel. Whoever you are. Thank you. I appreciate it. I already got five people in here. Hello, Just Groot. All right. What happened to your Discord bot videos? So they're still here. I haven't stopped uploading to them. I just been focusing on this one project I want to push out with uh, code marathons. But I promise you, I will still be uploading to them. I just haven't uh, got started on this third episode yet. Uh, the third episode is going to be about embedding messages, so that's what it will be about when it comes out. But to get maybe one more person in here, possibly. <clears throat> maybe one more, just one more person, maybe two more people. Make it just like yesterday, guys. Did I mention everyone? Did I mention everyone? I did, I did, alright. Yep. 
somebody here at least. I'll go ahead and close out that. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, this is my second stream I have done uh, with this, uh, I guess, what you can call a digital MP3 player project, uh, a code marathon. So this is stream two, and uh, if you missed the first stream, a quick recap of what we did is we basically just built the shell of uh, what our little blueprint looks like here with our buttons, our sliders, our playlist box, all the frames and stuff. And if I go ahead and run it and show you what it looks like, as you can see, it kind of resembles that empty shell a little bit. You know, you have your uh, six buttons total there, and then your settings button over here. And all that we really need at the moment. So yeah, it, it kind of resembles uh, what we want at the very moment. Hello, David Mora. Welcome to the stream. But uh, yeah, so that's basically all that we have done. Uh, for this stream, we're going to worry about uh, actually making it look a little bit prettier with some images. And uh, mainly some icons for a button. So we don't just have play, pause, stop, mute, etc. So uh, we're going to go ahead and close this out. And um, we are going to go ahead and close this out as well. And then we're going to go ahead and get started with downloading some images we're going to use. Now, uh, I have a test file that basically is going to be some stuff that I uh, basically took as notes. And I downloaded an image that's basically going to be the album cover. Uh, if the song that we play doesn't have one built in, this is basically what's going to show by default. Uh, that is an image I downloaded off stream. So, yep. But we're going to mainly download all of our icons we're going to need. And we're going to uh, have the images displayed up here eventually. <coughs> but. Okay, we got six other people now. That's nice. But um, what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and uh, go to uh, what we call Flaticon. Uh, this is basically. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Let's go back. Flat to con. Yep. Basically, uh, what this is, is a uh, website where we can download uh, free icons and free vector art. Uh, now, they are free. However, if you plan on um, like selling any of your software, putting them up for download, it is highly, highly recommended that you do uh, attribute the creators of uh, whatever icons you download. And there is a tool that Flaticon uh, provides you uh, with uh, attribution and such. Now, we won't get into that much on these code marathons that I'm doing, mainly because I'm not an expert on copyright. Uh, I don't claim to be an expert. I, you know, don't take legal advice from me, but uh, I'm just here to show you how we can implement these e icons. So, uh, basically, there is couple of them you can download some stickers animated icons which we're not going to use any of the animated ones uh, mainly because the process is a little bit lengthier as far as i know and those are just a little bit more difficult and this is meant for beginner to intermediate uh pro python programmers so what we're going to do is we're probably going to go to use one of these two and uh, specifically probably the regular icons now here there's a whole bunch of them uh Basically sorted by genre. Uh, we can start by uh, finding a play uh, icon. And as you can see, there's a list of them. Some have color, some do not. Uh, typically, I choose the ones that have color. They just look a lot nicer. And uh, this one looks pretty cool. And you can also change the dimensions. Now, something very important um, that you guys should remember is to make sure that all your buttons are the same size. Now, my top three buttons are going to be uh, bigger than the bottom three here. These top three are going to be 28 by tw or 128 by 128 pixels, while the, these here on the bottom are going to be half of that, so 64 by 64. So if I go ahead and go back to Flaticon, uh, for my play button, which is going to be the first uh, button on the top row, I'm going to want to download that here and if I can actually exit out of that, whoops. 
I'm going to download that in uh, 128 pixels. And I'm going to click free download. Now, if your image isn't a perfect square, you can uh, resize it with uh, some of the libraries we're going to be using. How did you learn how to code so well? Well, it took a while. I mean, I've been using Python for about four to five years now, and uh, that's kind of out of question because I still struggle with code sometimes. Uh, I mean, Python's a huge language. There's a lot you need to memorize, and you're more than likely to forget sometimes. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck this out of the way, and I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And then what I'm going to do is... Oh, here it is. Go to downloads. And I'm going to take this and put it out here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, copy it into my images, and I'm going to rename it something simple like play.png. All right, and then we can just delete the one on our desktop. So now we have this under our images folder. And uh, how to actually get it? to work with our code is we're going to import a thing called pillow uh, or uh, called pill P-I-L for short. So import pill dot image specifically because we're going to use the image as image. Now to get started, what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a uh, just a small area here. We're just going to call them images. And in here, we are going to type in, if I can, oh, I want to think, okay, play. All right, so play image. I'll set it to equal to image dot TK image. Or wait a minute. TK image dot. Okay, I know what I do. I need to import TK image as well from hill imports image and tk image image tk that's what it is okay struggling for a minute couldn't figure out what it was called what about covers uh how do you do what do you mean All right, uh, now play image, we set it equal to image tk dot photo image. And inside here, we are going to uh, basically type in the path as a string to our play image. So it's going to be images slash play dot png. And um, if I were to go ahead and actually blit this to my screen, uh, what I can do is I can go to button. And all I got to do is just uh, remove text and replace it as image equals play it image. And if I go ahead and run this, we should oh, image has no attribute. Okay, let me see what I've written here. Okay, I know what I did wrong. Whoops. What I need to do is image dot open. So slight mistake. I need to be image tk dot photo image. And inside here, image dot open, and then the path to our image. So now, if I go ahead and run, we should be good. Yep, we have a bit of an issue. Okay, so that's no problem. What we can do is we can, let's see, let's go to test.py right here. All right. 
So that's a little weird. It's actually should post the image normally. All right, what we're going to do is. Okay, I see what we did wrong. We need to get rid of that. That height and width was overriding it. So now if we go ahead. Okay, a little bit better. Uh, possibly should have went with 64 by 64 instead of um, 128 by 128. But I could actually resize that. Maybe. No, I can't. I have to download a new one. But we need to actually figure out why it's not wanting to play. Now if I go back here. Now I wonder why. We're at Tekinto Pill and Pi Game. Pi Game and Tiny Tag so far. Yes, we are indeed. Um, okay. I need to figure out why this didn't want to blit to the screen. Because I actually won't even let me press it now, whereas the rest of them, it'll do it no problem. Let's... Go back and figure out. Okay, let's go to my test file real quick. <clears throat> Since I have a couple buttons, I want to. Actually, no, I can't do that. Because that just spoils the rest of the marathon. Let's go to. Like this and image show on button to enter. All right, let's see what these guys have to say. By the way, this is something I always do if I struggle, by the way. All right, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that and this. I'm going to type in file equals. So we won't use pillow for that, but we will use pillow later. So pillow won't be completely useless. If I go ahead and run, still nothing. Okay. Wonder why it's not wanting to show button. Image one button equals button. Alright, I wonder if that works. Okay, yeah, I figured that. Sometimes it works depending on what you're doing. So I wonder if I go ahead and take that and I don't know, chuck it down here or something. Move it there, see if it works. Okay, alright, I did. Sweet. So we have a big button. Will covers be completely useless? What do you mean by covers, babe?
What is your GitHub username? So my GitHub username is, I'll go ahead, GitHub, go to my profile. That is my GitHub username, Pardoxial8172. All right, look, y'all, we have a huge button, all right? We have a huge, huge button. Too big of a button. We need to drop some of this button. Now, uh, what we can do with that is we can just go back to Flaticon and basically re-download this image. But at 64, now I thought 128 was good enough, but I guess not. So I'm going to go ahead and... Now, I'm going to rename this to play.png. Okay, so delete that. Play.png. Now, since the file's already scoped in here, if I just go ahead and rerun it. Okay, we have a smaller button with the little play icon. Sweet. Excuse me. Now, what we need to do is Go ahead and do our pause and stop buttons. So we can go back here and we can just type in stop. And this one works. Check it out. And it's red too, so pretty nice. And I'm going to put it in my images and we're going to name it to stop.png. And uh, give me one second, guys. All right, back. Go ahead and close both of those out. And uh, we can go ahead and type in stop image. It's going to be equal to photo image. And then there we go. And then we need uh, two more images to do those la that last one. So do pause, which can be this yellow one here. All right, free download. Bring it over to here. Okay, pause.png, that's nice. Don't have to change the name. And then we can search up unpause. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the next page. See if there's an orange one we can get. You know, something like that. Actually, you know what? What if we did some sprite sheets? Something like this, but with the triangle only, is what I'm looking for. Or, you know, even this could work. Actually, no, we already have orange. What am I thinking? Okay, let's go to play. Uh, yeah, you know, this one will work. I mean, it might be a little different color, but keep in mind... This is just for now. These can always change. Now, we'll call this unpause. Now, pause image. File equals. Images slash pause.png. And then unpause. Image is going to be equal to photo image file is going to equal unpause.png uh, with images in front. There we go. Okay, so that looks right. Now we need to go here, 
type an image. It's going to be equal to pause in image. Uh, remove width and height. Do the same thing with stop as well. Oh, had a brain fart for a minute. Image is going to be equal to stop image. Now, we're going to set another constant here, and it's going to be set to false. False is going to be false. Thank you, babe. I'm glad you like the orange. So we have pause as a constant, and we have it set to false. Uh, because we, when we, when a program starts up, we don't want it to be automatically paused, right? So what I'm going to do now is, uh, whenever I actually write out the pause function, we're going to make it a uh, run through an if block that if pause is false, then it's going to pause the music, and it's going to change the image to the other uh, to the unpause.png image, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, we'll we'll see that in another stream, but let's go ahead and run our code and. Okay, whoops, we got the same problem. I just simply forgot to type in pause image equals stop image. And uh, we're gonna call this initialize images. Oh, not by call, I mean comment there and write that's what it is. Okay, so we have our pause buttons here. Now, I don't like the border. I don't like the the dumb relief. The relief sucks. So, what we can do to uh, circumvent that is go to our buttons, type in relief, and we can set it to none. I think that's how we can do that. Yeah. Now, if I go ahead and run. Okay. See what relief does. All right, so this is where we can go into Tikinter Docs. Tikinter Docs. All right, so standard options. Now, let's go to button. Okay, run. Uh, okay. What are we going to do with the relief? Okay. How to remove sync button to enter. Wait a minute. You know, I think I just remembered it. What if I type in... Go back here. You forgot to import sheets. What would I need sheets for?
flat relief. Let's see what flat does. Okay, sweet. All right. Well, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really want the, I don't want the sink in. That's the only thing. Now, is there any other? Let's see. All right, you know what? This is actually roof sunken. You know what? I actually like groove better. You know, let's go with groove. Groove looks really nice. Actually, that's a lie. It is not. <laughs> groove looks terrible. Let's not do groove. Ridge groove sunken. Raised. Okay, you know what? Not to highlight button into Kinter. We're gonna make a highlight. I'm going to highlight the button. Oh. Highlight button when hover in to Kinder. How to make button show pointer into Kinter. Okay, should be a way to do this. Change cursor, link dot bind motion. What? You know, we won't necessarily worry about that now. We're just going to worry about getting the images on here. Because I can't really be bothered. But they look nice. I mean, they look better than this. You know, what if I raise these? Let's see what raised looks like. Oh, so you know it's just like that. <laughs> no, we want flat. How does pillow work? So pillow essentially works um Basically, Pillow is a built-in Python uh, library, and what you can use Pillow for is just basically creating images uh, that you can use, um, like in in your in your programs. You can um, so you can actually you can resize images. You can change like the cut, like the hue of them, the saturation. You can change like the sharpness of images. I, I like to think of it as like Photoshop, but in Python, you can basically like you can crop images and all that good stuff. You can put text over them. It, it's really nice. 
Uh, this is actually my first time using pill, so I'm just now learning about it. But there's a lot of things you can do with it. I wonder what ridge, what does a ridge look like? Okay, let's change this to ridge. So you still don't need covers? Well, what do you mean by covers? Okay. Cover to cancer. No, I don't need to import sheets, but what do you mean by covers? Uh, let's go ahead and, whoops, let's see what we have so far. All right, let's go ahead and get a settings icon, mute, back, and forward. Sixty four. Actually, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Rewind is going to be thirty two. Thirty-two. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna call this proceed. Cause I think that's what I call forward. But actually, no, I called it forward. And then we need this the mute and unmute. So mute. This is a good one. All right, 32. And then we're going to look for unmute. No, I said unmute, right? Yeah. Why am I getting a bunch of... Un or er, unmuted. Okay, so we have muted, unmuted. Okay, sweet. Now, uh, we need one more settings. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna make this a sixty. No. I want to make it a 32. Settings settings buttons aren't usually that big. I'm going to think of it. And that's already a good enough name. Okay, so... Mute. Image. Equals... Yep. Unmuted. Image. Yep. Oh... 
Okay, as far as I know, I won't be using sheets or covers. I, I don't think I'll need to use it, but I might look into it. That's a good idea. Thank you, hun. But right now, for what I have set up, it seems like Pillow is just working fine by itself. But, you know, in the future, we might look into, like, sheets and covers and see uh, how uh, that might work with it as well. Uh, forward image is going to be equal to... Photo image file is going to be equal to images slash forward.png. And then, uh, rewind image is going to be photo image file. Or actually, instead of rewind, we might have a back image. We might name it. We might do it back, and then here, uh, rewind button, back button. There we go. Cause you know a rewind seems silly. Yeah, we'll use. Yeah, we'll use plenty of socks and blankets. Need shoes as well because I sleep in bed with shoes. That's a joke. Please don't take that seriously. All right, back image, images, slash, back, dot, png, and I'm going to rename this to back, dot, png. Here we go. Okay, and then what else do I have? Okay, so settings, image is equal to photo image, file equals images slash settings dot pnd and then we're just going to remove this height and width change all occurrences image equals there we go and here we'll set our muted dot wait muted image what am i what was i thinking forward image back image oops settings image and that's done so mute muted image muted Toggle button dot image is equal to muted image. Now, uh, all right, image. Here we go, and then settings button dot image. Is equal to settings image. Now, if I look up here, we yeah. So only unpause and unmuted are because those are gonna be toggles. All right. Uh, so they're gonna be using like booleans. So actually, we're gonna do muted, and we'll set that to false as well. Actually, shoot, these can't be constants. I just realized that. I don't know, muted. Yeah, I just realized I made a mistake. Those cannot be constants because if they're constants, then I can't change them, which I plan to change them eventually. Unknown option images. Where's that? At? Okay, so that's what it is. Need to get rid of these. And then just put that comma back. So, whoops, that was my mistake. Alright, now I think we're good. Yeah, alright, let's go ahead and run it one more time. Unknown options, images.
Okay. I used image, that's why. Or I used images. Is image? Hold on, is images even... Okay, it's not. I just made a mistake. Okay. Alright, so... That's nice. We now have, like, these. And we have our settings button up here. We have our little clock right here. So we need to do something with the add and delete buttons. And we're going to do something with this in the future in the slider. We're not going to do it on today's stream, but we are going to do so. Actually, yeah, hold on. We're going to copy and paste this. Relief now. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might have them a little closer together. Maybe if I go down here and change the padding a little bit. So, hold on. where's the buttons? Okay. So, you know what, let's do five. Actually, no, we'll keep Y padding the same, but uh, X padding will be half of what it usually is. This, my plan was to make those a little wee bit closer together, and that's actually not going to work because they're gridded. So, we might actually have to scratch that idea. Uh, let me see. I mean, they're, I guess they're okay. Um. <sighs> right, let's look for some images there. And those are going to be also by 32 by 32. So let's do add. Okay, that one's a good one. All right, 32. I've reached a limit for downloads. <laughs> All right. Uh, that sucks. Uh, is there a way I can pause the stream? I don't think so. You know what? I've been at this long enough. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about, uh, basically what else I can do here, uh, with my bot. Now, I have, I have some prototypes that I'm working on. Uh, let's go look and test. So, this is what I'm working on right now. This is just a simple one. Uh, basically, I was up late last night, uh, figuring out how I can scrape a, uh, MP3 file for its metadata. And I uh, also got the time. Uh, this is thanks to Rx Salady. He helped me out with this here. Which is nice because I was trying to figure out how I can use date time. The date time library to actually get that to work. But um, if I go ahead and run this, essentially what I can do is if I now... Uh, let's go to my files. Go to music and... Yeah, I want to use one that's not copyrighted. So I want to use this one, Lazarus Moment, Lake in the Cabin, or Cabin by the Lake. That one is non-copyrighted, so I can just paste this. And as you can see, uh, it's really loud, or at least to me it sounds like it is. But see how it scrapes that MP3 file for its name, the band, the duration, and any album cover. And I even got the pause and resume buttons to work but in the actual final project 
that or our little project we're doing here is this is gonna be there's gonna be one button for pause and unpause and we'll just toggle it. And uh yeah, so that's kind of the prototype. Now uh we are gonna install a couple more things here. So we have pill, but we need to install we need to install a pi or import pi game. Import tiny tag. Import IO and import OS. And you'll see why soon. Uh basically what a tiny tag does is it basically imports or I'm sorry, what tiny tag does is you can use it to extract an MP3 file's metadata and get stuff like the artist, the album, the album cover, the duration, uh, you know, the title of the song. And uh, I think even if provided, I think you can get the year that the song was released too if you download like a legitimate copy that you bought. So that's what tiny tag does, and we're actually going to change this from tiny tag import tiny tag, and uh, with pygame, we're now going to type in pygame dot mixer dot init, and uh, this mixer pygame dot mixer is basically what we're going to be using to actually uh, play our songs and such. OS is going to be used for scoping out the files in here. And IO, uh, IO is going to be used with tiny tag because tiny tag, you can uh, extract a byte string of the album cover's image. You can extract it as a byte string, and then you can use IO to basically, uh, I guess, encode it. Or I'm not really sure what terminology to use there, but it basically converts it back into a visual image. Which you can then open up with Pillow, and then you can uh, use Tekinter to blit it to the screen, which is nice. So, that's what we're going to use. Now, assume I assume most of you don't have Pygame or TinyTag installed, so what we need to do is actually click our Windows plus R key. And go to command now if you're on mac i think the process is a bit different i think you have to hit like your actual command key or something but i'm not sure uh if there's any mac users watching uh please correct me but we're gonna type in cmd here i'm gonna type in pip install pygame and mine honestly okay i thought mine would have to update but no and we're gonna do pip install tiny tag So now we have tiny tag and pipe game installed. Now I think that's the I think that's the last of at least right now that's gonna be the last of our uh modules that we're gonna import. Not saying that there won't be any more. It is very well possible that later down the line we can decide to add some more modules in. But that looks good. Now um as of right now, we've done everything we really needed to do this stream. Like I said, this is going to be a more shorter stream. Uh, actually, we need to get our ad. We need to get our ad. Oh, wait, never mind. That's right. I forgot. Our We, we reached our daily limit of downloading PNGs because I'm not logged in. And the thing is, I don't want to log in on stream because you guys get to see my email address. So that's nice. But, uh... So far, let's go ahead and do a quick recap. Uh, close that out. I had, I had my image open. So general layout, still the same. B3 is play, B4 is pause and unpause, and then B5 is just stop. Which, really, you could argue that the stop could just be the pause button in general i showed my email earlier on stack overflow you should edit that out uh yeah i probably should yeah i probably need to i didn't realize that but oh well 
Thank you for letting me know, Arxality. Let's see it. No, you don't get to see my email address. But a quick recap. What we did was we basically added our um, button images in. Got our settings button up here. Now we can add more of these later if we really want to. Uh, but we don't necessarily have to just yet. But that's what it looks like at the moment. Uh, there is one more thing I actually want to show you guys. We can uh, change the background color of certain things. So I think if I go background... I changed the bottom frame's background color to gray. I think if I open it... Yeah, it changes the actual uh, background to gray here. Which is kind of the theme I want to go around. More of a dark theme. So, let's actually do that for a lot of these. Now... Or, well, we need to do the main frame as well. And, let's see. Sweet. Got a little bit of a... Gray theme going on. Now, we can also change the backgrounds of our buttons to gray. So, if I go to... Here, and then rerun this again. As you can see, we have our buttons, and they actually highlight a bit. You know what? This doesn't look too good. I might actually... Yeah, we're gonna go back. That doesn't look good. We'll deal. We'll deal with more of a personalization later. But so far, this is kind of what it's coming out to look like. It's gonna be pretty big, probably about this size. Uh, all of our songs will be listed in here. I'm hoping next stream I can actually get um, the MP3 files to eventually open up here. And then uh, it'll um, immediately. Uh, blit, or I'm sorry, not blit, but uh, return like the song's name, the duration, artist, band, album, and then ev and the eventually the album uh, cover, which will be somewhere around here. That's the plan. Uh, I'm actually thinking about doing a little bit more padding, give us some space in between here, uh, because there's a lot of white space here. I don't like white space. We need to do something with the white space. Um, maybe I could add some extra stuff here, like maybe if there's a way, perhaps we can extract. Actually, no, I don't think they come with lyrics, but we could possibly maybe we get the files full path displayed right here. So where you can read just so you know what file you're playing and where it's coming from and stuff like that but uh so far everything looks pretty nice i uh, think we're gonna be i think we're based i think we're done for now so uh next stream like i said hopefully we're gonna be able to get uh the actual menu bar set up to where we can open up a file and play the song and get everything returned here for the song name artist band album etc Excuse me. So without further ado, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't watched the first video yet, uh, I recommend you do so. That way you get a general idea how I got to where I'm at now. And uh, if you're enjoying these code marathons and you would like to see more just like them, be sure to let me know. Because my plan is to do more of these code marathons with other projects as well, such as my math library, for example. But uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to leave a like. And by video, I mean stream technically, but it's going to be a video after I shut down the stream. But uh, yeah, leave a like. Uh, leave a comment afterwards telling me uh, what you guys thought about the code marathons I've been doing lately. Uh, if you'd like to s uh, send me any suggestions, feel free to do so in the comments as well. Like a suggestion on what I should add to the music player um project that we're doing here um 
possibly um possibly maybe let me know on future project ideas that i can implement uh into code marathons but uh, other than that thank you guys so much for watching again if you enjoyed this stream be sure to leave a like comment and uh subscribe to my channel for future streams just like this and if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, feel free to do so. The link will be in the description. It currently has over 650 members, and we are still counting. So if you haven't already joined, feel free to do so. Lots of people get help with their code there. And we also just hang out and talk about technology and programming stuff. So uh, without further ado, you guys have a good night. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.